Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Equity with QuickBooks. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at equity.com and as uh, soon you will discover that Equity is part of Squarespace now. So once we log in, uh, you see your scheduling uh, at your company and so on. But if you want to make this con uh, integration work, we have to use help of third-party app and in this case i've decided to use automate.eo i will leave the link in the descriptions underneath this video once we are here we want to go to the top corner of our screen and click on integrations once we're at integrations we want to slide down from this pop-up window to the bottom left uh, corner uh, and click on see all categories now we want to start with equity equity scheduling now let's pick its counterpart, which will be QuickBooks Online. Straight away we have some popular integrations for us, uh, already pre-made it by uh, Automate. But if we won't be able to find one that we are actually looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, you want to go with Equity. So there's like three, five options. So let's go with the first one, for example. On the opposite side, uh, underneath the actions, you want to go with QuickBooks. As you can see, there's uh, tons of options. So you can really pick the one that you need and you'll still have plenty, plenty more options. But uh, let's stick to the, with the first one. All we have to do now is click on Try It Now button. And when we get re redirected, we have to just uh, register or log in to our existing automate.eo account. There, and we are basically a few clicks away from finishing this integration. We can also use Zapier.com, which is also a very useful app for integration, uh, same, as, uh, same as Automate. Once we are here, let's go to the top left corner and click on Create Zap. And yet again, we have to start with the Trigger app. In our case, it's going to be Equity. Now we have to pick uh, one of the five options manually. We have to log in. We hit Continue button. As you can, as you can see, we can set up the trigger. And now we can test the trigger between Equity and Zapier itself. On the second action, we want to go, as you probably thought, with QuickBooks. Also, we have to pick an event manually. So let's go with this one, continue. And the last thing is we have to log into QuickBooks. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.